Hello everyone, welcome to another video. Today we are opening our first Green Chef box. We actually have tried Green Chef before, but it was a while ago, our situation was very different, so we thought that we'd give it another try now. And um, I'm already not happy with the service <laughs> because I changed my address from where we used to live to where we live now, and they delivered our first box to my old address. What the heck? And it was okay because my mom was able to utilize it to use it, but like I changed my address. <laughs> so this box ended up being free to compensate for the fact that they sent the box to the wrong place last time. We're gonna get into this box and we'll show you what we got. Yeah. Alright, so this is the box that it comes in. It's a cute little tiny green chef. Uh, box. It's very heavy. It's very heavy because it does have the dry ice similar to the Imperfect Foods. It says the most sustainable meal kit, Green Chef. And first thing you're going to see basically is the recipes. So this week we got Spanish stuffed peppers. Mexican pinto bean meatballs, which is what we were going to have tonight until uh, we had pizza instead. And the last one is the chickpea salad sandwich. We love this chickpea salad sandwich. Yeah, it's, it's really delicious. good. But I don't know. It just seems so involved. Two of the recipes have eight steps and one has six. Do you want to show the opposite side? to show what like the step-by-step -step looks like. So they do provide pictures. I'm a very visual learner person, so the picture, the pictures do help. Uh, and then they basically break it down. So also in the box comes this, oh, confetti, comes this envelope with different offers. And then this is the packaging that the food comes in. This is different. Yeah. Uh-oh. Nope, never mind. That's why I look different. Uh-huh. All right, are you ready to see what came in our box? Yeah. All right. So everything that you need, all the ingredients, um, is put in a single bag. Per and, recipe. Per recipe, and everything is like portioned out for you, so you don't necessarily have to measure it out. Also, we didn't say, but this is the vegetarian box, because I'm a vegetarian. Yeah. So. They also have keto boxes, and. Which meat, I didn't know. Yeah, meat eater boxes. They have all kinds, but. We get the vegetarian box. Yeah, so you don't have to always get the the vegetable boxes. You can uh, mix and match. Surprise, surprise. Look what they gave us, love. Yay. They gave us a, a keto-friendly um, granola bar. <laughs> Eeyore approves of Green Chef. You like Green Chef, little nug? Yeah. Yeah, Green Chef is good. Time to do some cooking. Cook with us. Ah. So for tonight, we're gonna be making the chickpea and salad sandwiches. No, they're just chickpea salad sandwiches. Like chicken salad, but vegetarian. No, they're the chickpea and salad sandwiches. We're gonna start cooking. Also, if you see our wall, that weird thing, it's because they're replacing our HVAC. So we're opening up the uh, respective bag, the chickpea salad sandwich bag. And then once you open it up, here are the ingredients. So we got the carrots. Which is hilarious, we have so many carrots in the fridge. Yeah, we do. Scallions. Garbanzo beans, I forgot that they give the beans in a bag. I kind of love that. Yeah, it's really funny. So those are the, the chickpeas. These are charred, green charred. Okay. Celery. I think you're familiar with celery. Walnuts. Yellow curry powder. Lemon aioli. Fan berries. Feta. Feta cheese. And then there's something else in here that I don't know what it is. I've never seen Cauliflower this rice? I think this was an accident. Got our handy dandy aprons. I got Mickey and you got Disney snacks. 
Yes, so the first step is to preheat the oven to 425. I already did that while I was on the phone with Monica. Hi, Monica. Um, okay, so it says to cut the tops off the carrots and peel. You don't have to peel them, uh, but they do need to be cut. And also to slice the scallion. However, it's smarter to cut the scallion with scissors way faster. Sounds okay. like a plan. All right. So while Brandon cuts the carrots and does that, I'm going to do the prep for the chickpea salad. So I'm going to strain and rinse the chickpeas. I'm going to chop the cranberries, except I probably won't. Small diced celery and chop the walnuts. All right. So while Julia finishes up with the chopping, I went ahead and placed the chickpeas in a pot of water and we're going to boil it for about five to seven minutes. So everything that needed to be chopped is chopped up and I think that's it. I don't know what we have to do with the chard. Yeah, we have to cut these. You, you could do it. Remember the cigar style? Oh, uh, yes. Back I do remember that. that. Um, but this is the last thing we have to chop. This wasn't too bad. Oh, we should do the carrots because they need to be in the oven for a while. Yeah, you gotta put them in a bowl. Alright, grab a bowl. So for this part of the step, you're gonna place the carrots in a large bowl, which we have a very large bowl here. Very large bowl. Then we're gonna drizzle about one and a half tablespoons of cooking oil. And we're gonna season with the yellow curry powder and about a half teaspoon of salt and a pinch of pepper. So one and a half tablespoons of cooking oil, the yellow curry powder, which is pre-portioned out. It's just a little pinch here and there. That might be a little too much. I like salt. JK, JK, just kidding. LOL, JK. Back to our high school days. And I'm JC. I don't know what that is. So. What? Me and Brandon just keep switching jobs. We just can't choose. It's like not that serious if it's on a single layer. Just do your best. I don't know what a single layer is. What do you mean? Uh, like lay them out flat. Okay. Not one on top of the other. 12 to 14 minutes. All right, so at this point, I'm going to roll the chards into like cigar layers, and then I'm gonna slice them. So I'm gonna roll. I don't know if I still got it. But basically, you're just gonna take as many as you can, place them all together, intermingled, and you're gonna roll it. And it's gonna come out to this mumbo jumbo thing. Then you're gonna take your, you're gonna kind of fist it. And you're gonna go like this. And it kind of comes out really, like, I don't wanna say finely chopped, but like it's just really. It's really nice. Yeah, it's a nice method of chopping it. We're gonna place this into our bowl, and then we're gonna massage it. All right, so after you put it into the bowl, you're gonna do a tablespoon of oil. Okay. One tablespoon of olive oil. You're gonna lightly season with some salt, and then you're gonna massage it until the leaves become soft. All right, our chickpeas, and they're boiling. Still got about another minute. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna drain them, and then we're gonna place it into the bowl that we use for the carrots, and we're gonna smash them up. I was looking at the next step, and it said to toast the pitas, and I was like, okay, and then I was like, we didn't get any pitas. So instead of sending us the whole wheat pitas like they were supposed to, they sent us that cauliflower rice, which makes no sense because this is literally a sandwich. So we don't know what we're gonna do now. Well, we're gonna eat it without the pitas, but. Really disappointing. That's so irritating. What a mess. And we also did check the other bags to see if possibly they packaged it incorrectly. Yeah, I wanted to give them like the benefit of the doubt. But it wasn't in any of the other packages. So, that stinks. All right. So we drained it, put it into the bowl. It says in the recipe to mash the chickpeas first. 
And I think we should have done that. I don't think so. I want them to really get the flavoring together. It says to taste, but I feel like I'm just going to do the packet. And salt and pepper. Get a quick look. Doesn't it look like chicken salad? It does look like chicken salad. That's it plated. It's not really that much food, I feel like. So, again, because we didn't get the pitas, this is going to look a little different than what it's supposed to look like. But you basically get the gist of it. We're going to try it now. We'll start out with the carrots. Yeah, go ahead. You have it too. These are good. Yeah, kind of uh, bland. I'm surprised. There was a lot of seasoning on it. They're very good. Definitely better than the carrots, but I don't know. I'm still kind of disappointed that we didn't get the pitas. Yeah, I mean, it's fine. I don't love pitas anyway. But I'm surprised you don't like the carrots because you were obsessed with these last time. Yeah, they're just bland this time. I don't know. Weird. It's time to make some dinner, some green chef. Today we're making Mexican pinto bean meatballs. We've actually had this recipe before and it was really good. So we're going to make it again. I'm going to see how much time it takes. It says 40 minutes. I probably won't film all that much because Brandon's not here. But I'll show you like the main things. So these are all the things that we need for the recipe. They did remember to include everything this time, so that's great. This is going to be a good recipe for me to do without Brandon because there's not going to be a lot of chopping. Everything's pretty much done, just the onion and the tomato, and I could just put that in my chopper. So hopefully it'll go well. All right, so this is my mixture that's going to turn into meatballs, not real ones. Again, these are all vegetarian, but these are pinto beans, chia seeds, breadcrumbs, paprika, parsley, spice blend, cornstarch, half an onion, one tablespoon of the chipotle aioli, and salt and pepper. So yeah, that's this, and then I have to mix, form these into balls. Cool. So here are the pinto bean meatballs with the carrot and cabbage slaw with pepitas, aka pumpkin seeds, and some lime. I think it looks really good. There's also rice under here with some onion that smells really good. I'm excited to eat it. It took about 50 minutes to make, which isn't too much longer than what they said. And we'll check back when we're done and let you know how it was. Hey guys. All right, so for dinner tonight, we're gonna be making these Spanish stuffed peppers. Julia is doing some school work right now, so I'm gonna be doing most of the cooking tonight. So I'm gonna show you the um, step-by-step and show you the ingredients and take you along for the process. So just drizzled on some olive oil and sprinkled on some salt and pepper and then it says to place in the oven on the 425 temperature for approximately 18 to 20 minutes. So once the oven is preheated that's what I'll do. Okay off camera I cut the tomatoes in half. Um, Julia likes them to be quartered so I cut them into quarters. I also uh, trimmed off the ends off the green beans and then they asked to be sliced into like little half pieces so I did that one of my favorite things the easiest thing to do is open up that bag of beans and rinse under you know warm water cold water whatever you want and then just rinse it out drain it out that's the easiest thing to do so I'm just waiting for the rice to finish up it's been about another minute or so and then we have another three minutes on the clock for the peppers. Check back soon. We're gonna take the green beans, we're gonna put some oil in a pan, add the green beans, and we're gonna add the, the seasoning. So off camera, I added in the beans, the chorizo seasoning. I added in a couple uh, pinches of salt and pepper, as well as garlic. So we're gonna get this on here for a couple of minutes, about three to five minutes it says, and then we're gonna be adding in a couple more things. All right, this is basically the finished product. So all you're gonna do is you're gonna take this, you're gonna transfer it over to the peppers, you're gonna stuff them up. Doesn't that look yummy? Didn't I plate that excellent? Just kidding. So basically, that's how my version came out. 
and that's how their version came out. There is a little bit of the stuffing that's still left over, and the pepper is all the way in the bottom. Um, the pepper did become a little soggy, so hopefully um, still good. I think it looks good. Yeah? Hmm? All right. All right, what did you think? Well, we're still eating it. It's pretty good. It's not like the best thing I've ever had in my life, but it's it's good. Yeah, I mean, the pepper definitely came out better than I expected it would be. Um, there's a little couple things that are bland, like it's kind of yeah. tasteless. Um, and it's not what I expect when I hear of a stuffed pepper. Like, mm -hmm. it doesn't taste the way that I make stuffed peppers. Anymore. Yeah. But it's good. Yeah, I mean, it's it's decent. Um, I necessarily wouldn't get it again. Yeah. I, I definitely do like the rice. We also realized that we forgot to talk about the dinner last time. So, what did you think about it? I really liked the meatballs. They were really good. Yeah, My I My favorite part. It. I loved the dinner last time. Yeah. I only ate half of it because it was such a big portion, I feel like. Still in the fridge. Yeah. Funny. But it was really good. I liked it a lot. Yeah. It had a lot of flavor to it. Yeah, the meatballs were definitely my favorite part. Okay, so we've been using Green Chef for a few weeks. How do you feel about it? So, let me first start off by saying um, this is not our first experience with Green Chef. It is our first experience with Green Chef out in Massachusetts. Mm -hmm. There's good things and there's bad things, in my opinion. Uh, the good things is everything comes to your door. So that's a great thing. Um, you basically order it online and the following week or whatever comes to your door. The meals come with the recipes, tells you exactly what to do, comes with pictures. I always love the pictures because me, if I know, like, I'm like, yeah, am I messing up or, yeah. you know, whatever, I can just refer back to the pictures. Uh, that's great. And most of the stuff is pre-portioned, so you don't have to necessarily, um, you know, measure it out yourself. What I don't like about Green Chef is the meals take a while to make, right? Um, there's a lot of them that take 40, 45 minutes to make, and there's just so many dishes you got to do afterwards. That's my my main con concern, complaint, to ra you know. So um, many dishes. That's what I don't like about Green Chef. And then concern number two um, is there's they're they're so high in calories for no reason and most of like we we get two servings because there's only two of us they're so high in calories but you don't feel full afterwards and it's like i'm starving because it was kind of like a, a salad or you know like something that you would normally have for lunch and then you're like and then you look at the calories and it's like 1,400 calories and you're like, mm, I don't want to eat anything it's else. It's never been 1,400 calories. Uh, you know, I'm just exaggerating, but... Um, well, what I don't like about that, because I don't count my calories, I don't care about that kind of stuff, but I don't appreciate that it's that many calories for something that it shouldn't be. Like, I don't know where the calories are mm -hmm. because it is so often just like vegetables and beans and I'm not sure where those calories are coming from, so it more so confuses me than anything. Like, is it the sauce? I'm I'm assuming it's the sauce and the seasoning. But like 600 calories of sauce? Yeah. So another thing is oh. you you know once you're done with the recipes, you don't have to like return the the recipe cards or anything like that. You get to keep them, mm -hmm. which is great. So you can continue to make these recipes. The little technical downside to that is most of these recipes they're really good yeah because of the seasoning that they give you and the sauces and they're the very sauces specific. so you could continue to make these recipes to the best of your ability it's just not going to come out 100 percent. i have recreated a few of them without their ingredients then they come out good like the barbecue chickpeas and mm -hmm. the green pea feta falafel things they're really good yeah so what about you what, so, what, what do you like about it? What don't you like about it? I, I basically agree with everything you said. I really like the food. It's very good. And sometimes the recipes are fairly easy, and I really appreciate that. I like the convenience. The cost is, it is a bit high, which is not something I like, but right now we're working off of a promotion, which is why the cost is good for us right now. Yeah. So I guess that kind of leads me into 
we're not going to use Green Chef every week because there are too many downsides. It's too expensive. Sometimes they forget items. It takes a really long time. Like Trader Joe's is so cheap and you just throw it in the oven. Micro microwave the oven, oven microwave. Yeah. whatever. And you know what? Sometimes for dinner, I just want to have pudding and cheese. -its. And that's what I'm having for dinner tonight. And you know, you just don't always want to cook. So overall, what are your concluding thoughts about Green Chef and Massachusetts part two? It's too expensive. It takes a really long time, but it is very tasty and sometimes worth it. I'm just not always in the mood to cook. And then after I cook, I'm definitely not in the mood to do dishes. The dishes are the worst. Yeah. We do suggest Green Chef. Yeah, I think so. Hi guys, future editing Julia here. I just wanted to say that we have actually since canceled our Green Chef subscription because they didn't send us a box and they didn't realize that we never got it. They didn't realize it was never sent and I had to call them to get a refund and tell them it never came. So that was just one strike too many, but that doesn't mean that Green Chef might not be good for you or for someone else that you know. So just wanted to let you know that that was our experience, but you guys definitely can decide for yourself if you think that it's going to be a good service for you. Back to your originally scheduled programming. I guess long story short, Green Chef is really good for people who have the budget for it and maybe the aren't time. Pro uh, yeah, and the time and aren't professional cooks. Yeah. We hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you've ever tried Green Chef or if there's another delivery service that you like better, let us know in the comments down below. All right, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And we hope to see you on the next video. Bye.